Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm so sorry for making you wait, and thank you very much for、uh, attending my class today too. So today is the third time, and we will do sa words, s words. Okay. Great. So、uh, let's review the last and last last class first about a、uh, like vowels, and then the、uh, the five、uh, five words with k consonants. Okay. So do you remember this? A, e, u, e, o, and then ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. The second row is the consonants with k, ka, k, k, and we did vowel k, k sound, and today. A sound, sa, shi, su, se, so. Okay. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Again. Sa, shi, su, se, so. You already know about this strategy. Oh, I mean, I mean, so structure, right? So, ah,、uh, you put s, s sound before the vowel a, e, u, e, o, so that you can pronounce sa, shi, su, se, so. Okay. And you can see ah.、Uh, I'm sorry, it's mirrored. So this way, so you can see the order of writing too. From one to three, sa. And she is super simple. You just she, su, eto, one line. And here, su no. Here, <laughs> and se, se is one line, and one little like a、uh, short one, and longer one. And so, so. So basically, hiragana those. Letters like basic Japanese letters have maximum four. Like if you see ki, the second row, the second, uh, the second one ki. There's like four. Uh, four times you have to write down, but otherwise you just have just one, or. Maybe three, so it's super simple. Okay, great. Okay, let's try it again. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Okay, and let's make words, some words out of this. Ah,、uh, using these sa words. Okay. You see, the very traditional Japanese food. Sushi. 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 Now you can write down the Japanese traditional food. <laughs> okay, and let's say. えっと、さか、さか、さ、あ、あ、さか、さか
Okay, when I pronounce, please mark the vowel so that you can know uh, which which level is it because it's A I U E O. Okay, so let's say saka, saka, saka is steep. Saka, slope, saka, slope. And uh, let's say you can say suki, suki, suki. Suki is like uh, the third level of uh, S row, uh, S line, third row in the S line, Su, and Ki, K, K words line, and second row, Suki. Suki means like, like. Uh, let's say, uh, I like Japanese. Language. I like Japanese language. You can say, Watashi wa. Watashi wa means I. Watashi wa. Nihongo ga. Japanese. Suki desu. Like it. Watashi wa nihongo ga suki desu. Watashi wa nihongo ga suki desu. Okay, let's repeat it again. Watashi wa. Nihongo ga suki desu. Okay. And you can just change this uh, Japanese part to anything that you like. So you can tell me like, Watashi wa ryoko ga suki desu. Ryoko means traveling. So, watashi wa ryokou ga suki desu. Okay, I will write it down. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I will uh, start from uh, the first one, sushi. Okay, and slope, just to what the name. Are you okay right here? Are you okay? Great. Let me okay. It's okay, so for the next how about Mike Eto Suki? Okay, so let it say wa wish. So you put like this, and you put ski here, and what does she means I you as you know already. I like Japanese Can you write suki in question? 
Yeah, sure. Eto. Okay. So it's very simple. If you want to make it a question, make a question, you can just put ka. Is it? Am I asking for your question? Agrawal san? Is it fine? Okay. But you know, it's you don't have you don't say like I do I like Japanese. So in the in the question format, it's gonna be like uh, the subject will be someone like maybe you or him or her, he or she or. Your mo my mother or someone, okay? <laughs> okay. Ah, I have to write down how to write read it right. Watashi wa nihongo ka tsuki desu ka. So so so. Kare desu. Okay. And then you can just switch anything over here. To something that you like. Okay, so please let me know what you like. I will just uh, translate it. I I, I will uh, I will let you know it's in in Japanese. Waiting, waiting. Tell me what you like. <laughs> oh, like you can say, you know, uh, I, 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 sushi ga suki desu too. You just, you know, remember the sushi. Okay. Uh, noodles. Okay, noodles. Uh, what kind of noodles is it? Like uh, soup noodles or ra uh, the ramen, pasta? Mm. If you like pasta, you can just say pasta, pasta, pasta. Remember, we have all the you know consonants and vowels all together, so we we all say pasta. For uh, spaghetti and those kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, udon? You can just say udon too. Mm. So, ne. Ato wa. Let's say. Yeah, udon is noodle too. But, you know, we have. Ah, is that a sobaski? So, like you said, we have many noodles in Japan like udon, soba, ramen. So, depends on the noodles, you can tell. Watashi wa ramen ga suki desu. Watashi wa udon ga suki desu. Watashi wa soba ga suki desu. You can tell anything with this. So, okay, ato wa, eto, if you want a question, eto, tateba, anata, anata is you, okay? Anata wa, Ah, uh, anata wa sushi ga suki desu ka? Anata wa sushi ga suki desu ka? Do you like no Do you like sushi? Anata wa sushi ga suki desu ka? Do you like sushi? Okay. Let's just move it here. Eto ah. Uh, Anata wa sushi ga suki desu ka? Yush. This is question. Eto anata wa sushi ga 
Suzuki this car. Okay. This is do you like sushi? If you are asked like this and you like it, you can just say, Watashi wa sushi ga suki desu. Okay. Great. And you can just say, like, uh, Anata wa? Mm. Anata wa? Mm. Tatoeba. Tatoeba is, for example, Tatoeba. Chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate ga suki desu ka? Anata wa chocolate ga suki desu ka? Do you like chocolate? And then you can say, Watashi wa chocolate ga suki desu. Watashi wa chocolate ga suki desu. Or, the very easy, easy one. You can just say, Hi. You can just say, Hi, suki desu. Hi, suki desu. Okay. So you can say hi, suki desu. Hi means yes. Yes. Hi, suki desu. Like it. Anata wa chocolate ga suki desu ka? Hi, suki desu. Anata wa nihongo ga suki desu ka? Hi, suki desu. Hi means very useful. It's for yes, and it's for mm, when you can say some like uh, when you say aha uh -huh, or like I I'm listening to you, you can just yes. Hi, hi. So this ne hi. Okay. So watashi wa eh, something suki desu. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to sa s. S lines, S, li S uh, words. Sa, shi, su, se, so. Okay? Sa, shi, su, se, so. Okay, you uh, completed 15 letters already. Yay. Okay. So we have a little bit more. But don't worry, we, step by step, we can get it. Okay. Eto, ato wa, to. I'm just looking at the chat. Chocolate and sushi both like then, how it will be in Nihongo. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. So you, when you want to say uh, you like chocolate and you like sushi and you, you want to make the sentence together, okay? So in that case, unto and and is we use to 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 is we will we will uh, learn next time to so this one. The infra infra on Friday, we will study about T ta ta lines, and in the top, very bottom and the T and vowel O to. This means and, okay. So you can just say, "Watashi wa chocolate to sushi ga suki desu." Watashi wa chocolate to Sushi ga suki desu. Is it clear? Actually, you can use to a lot of times. So you can just say, Watashi wa chocolate to sushi to udon to ramen ga suki desu. You can just use to between the words and you can just make it together. I hope it's clear for you. Okay, let's go back to sours now then. Okay, so we talked about uh, the vowel words we reviewed. 
R R lines and K K and today new Sa S lines. Okay. Okay. And in the last five minutes, I would like to talk about uh, the five W one H word, the very important words. And you know, in the last one, I, we talked about uh, when it's. Anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? When is your birthday? Anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? We learned this sentence, right? So we want to talk about who. Dare. Who was? Dare. Okay. Let me write it down. Dare. We will write it like this, and this means who. Okay. Dare. 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 Okay. Dare. Dare. Great, okay. So, eto, let's say, eto, so da na, dare, example, like, anata no sensei wa dare desu ka? Anata no sensei wa dare desu ka? Did you realize Anata is you already? Good job. Anata no sensei wa dare desu ka? Okay. Let's make it. Did you realize that it is over here? And this means who is your teacher? Anata no sensei wa dare desu ka? Anata no sensei wa dare desu ka? Okay. Anata no sensei wa dad desu ka? Okay. So, the sensei is teacher. Ah. Is it blue? Oh, it's difficult to see. Here you go. Anata no is your. Anata no. So before we talked about the birthday, uh, we said Anata no tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Anata no. So Anata no is your. Mm, let's say Anata no. Ah, we can just make one word with the uh, letters we just talked about, okay? So let's say like Anata no. Mm, to isu? Isu. Isu is chair. Isu. Isu. I. I. And su. Isu. Isu wa. Okay. Anata no isu. Your chair. Anata no isu. Your chair. Anata no sushi. Your sushi. <laughs> Anata no is your. Okay. So let's say, let's go back. So, anata no sensei wa dare desu ka? Anata no sensei wa dare desu ka? Who is your teacher? 
Who is your teacher? あなたの先生は誰ですか So, let's say, if you want to say,、uh, 私の先生はともみです私のあな。私の先生はともみです。My, my teacher is ともみ。You can just say, 私の先生はともみです。Okay? <laughs> 私,あの私の先生はともみです。Okay? You can just say that. <laughs> Got it. Okay, now are you familiar with 誰誰誰誰誰 ?You can use this 誰 for any, anything like Mm, I will just talk about teacher. You can talk about the,、uh, your siblings, your mother, your, I don't know, company's prime minister, government, your rock star, your favorite movie stars. You can talk about anyone with dare. Okay, so please remember dare words. Okay. 誰誰誰 Okay, so I will answer to some couple of questions and then we will just close today's class. Okay? えっと。Sorry. えっと、so do we always have to use ga when we talk about certain items? Yes. And actually, we have another word, wa, too. So, this is very complicated. And even for native Japanese, many people、um, make mistakes. So, this is kind of very complicated. So, we will talk about it later. But basically, we need ga for specific something. Yes. Ah,、mm, just one thing. If you are the someone who is doing something, like let's say, eto, I'm sorry, eto, if you are someone and it, if in, in the content, in the sentence, if it doesn't have any activity word, Then we use wa. So, like, watashi wa tomomi desu. I am tomomi. In that case, we use wa. Not watashi ga tomomi. Right? So,、uh, we will actually use it, but not for the、uh, self introduction. And only when you are in the crowd and Someone is asking, Who is Tomomi? And then I will like, That's me. It's like, Watashi ga Tomomi desu. I will say that. But for the uh, normal in, uh, conversation, I will just say, Watashi wa Tomomi desu. My name is Tomomi. So we will use wa and ga. And it's kind of complicated, but you will get used to it. So、uh, to answer for your question, And、uh, we, we need something.、Uh, neither wa or ga. Okay? And mo? Mo means also. Also. So you can say, like, let's talk about,、uh, let's go back to the chocolate thing. So, watashi wa chocolate ga suki desu. The sentence completed. And you want to say, Sushi mo suki desu. Do you see the difference? So you can just say, Watashi wa chocolate to sushi ga suki desu. It's all together. Or, Watashi wa chocolate ga suki desu. Watashi wa sushi mo suki desu. If you spread it, we use mo. 
and uh, you know, you will think like it's easier to put it together in one sentence, and I think so too. But if you want to emphasize the second thing, if you want to make it stronger, and then you can just put it to uh, you know, and you want to make that you want to say that you really really like sushi, <laughs> and then you can use more too. Is it clear? There are a lot of like uh, very small, small mm, the rules in this language. Maybe your language too. But you know, I want you to get all like a little like frame first, and then let's talk about the little things, little rules later. Then is it okay for today? Okay, so please don't forget s sa words and then uh, dare who words today. Okay, thank you very much for watching today and see you on Friday. Bye.